this will be the 21st video in my WordPress training course. This video we will go over permalinks. These are your linking options for your WordPress post and your WordPress pages. And also we will go over what happens when you go to your website one day and all of a sudden all you see is your home page and every other link you click on the page is a 404. That can happen, that can be fixed with your permalinks usually. If not, I will show some HT access code that will fix that problem as well. Okay, first thing obviously you log into your WordPress dashboard and then you go to settings, you go to permalinks. You notice we've been using the default permalink throughout this training course. And the default permalink does something like this. It puts this on the end for your page. Well, that's not very user friendly here. You have the option to have it set it for uh, day and name, month and name. You know, to put the name of your post, to put the date, month. Uh, you can give it a number. You give it a post name. Or you can do something custom. Personally, I like the post name. That would be for your pages and posts. So if you have a page that says contact us, the end will be contact-us. These are user friendly. And I believe they're also search engine friendly to do it this way. So that's a simple way to uh, set your options. So let me just show you what happens. As, as you notice, originally our posts are like this. Let's just go look so we can verify that real quick before I make this change. Go to sample page. And you notice it gives the page ID up here with a question mark. And we can come home, look at the post. One up here. Post ID question mark. We're going to change this to post name and let's go back home click on that and you notice now it has the post name in the URL and a sample page now it has sample page in the URL now sometimes I have done this before. I've worked on my WordPress site, loaded up one day, my home page shows just great. I go to click on any other link in there, if, any other post page, archive link, what have you, and I get the 404 not found page. Not sure exactly what I did to cause that to happen, but the fix was simple. You go here, select default save the change go back select your the one you had in this case it was post name save the change again nine times out of ten that will fix broken permalinks it is possible to break permalinks oftentimes when I move a WordPress site to its new server location for whoever I'm building the site for oftentimes the permalinks will break. So I just simply go in and I just resave the permalinks and it fixes it. If that does not fix it, you can put this H in your HT access file, this code right here. Just put that at the very top of your HT access file and save your H HT access file and put it back in and that will usually fix it. So if saving the permalinks doesn't fix it, this HT access code right here will fix it. And that's all there is to your linking options using permalinks in WordPress. Works for both your posts and your pages.